sup guys welcome to a new tutorial series that I'm gonna be doing um, okay so this is supposed to be uh, my final project here at uni uh, the end of the course but uh, I'm still uh, I still have two years to you know finish the the course but I decided to start doing my final project um, because I want to do um, a game that is actually you know aiming at triple-a quality I know it's not actually going to be triple-a but uh, I want to make it as good as I can and then for that uh, AAA feeling so uh, I also decided to record so I can kind of do uh, quote unquote tutorial series I'm probably not going to commentate and like explain everything on every video, uh, every video uh, especially when you know there's a lot of repeating of procedures and I'm just going to explain it one time but yeah this video I'm just going to be um, showing you what I've done already I got some you know stuff done already I'm going to show you all of that and I'm going to give you a link so you can download the current state of the project and just tell you a couple of things that you're gonna need so uh, let's get right into it so first I'm going to talk about what's going to be the game about so I decided to aim for um, a try a try to mix a survival horror uh, with the Call of Duty zombie style so like it's a more uh, limited area like a, a small map like uh, I've got this area over here I already set up a road and it's like uh, we are going to set up like uh, I don't know like three four five houses and like uh, just create like a little uh, a road just with four or five houses and lock it up and allow the players to uh, you know go around on that area explore the houses and everything but uh, like um, any Call of Duty zombie map they are not free to get out of the bounds of the map so it's not gonna be an open world it's gonna be um, a more closed environment and the survival sense comes when um, the way that I'm going to allow the players to have the survival elements like food and water and everything uh, it doesn't make sense because they can scavenge but if you think about it if you have like a squad of soldiers trapped uh, in a small area uh, if they are soldiers, uh, that's what I'm aiming for, it's a uh, squad of soldiers so you're gonna be able to call in airdrops uh, with food and water, uh, ammo, new weapons and everything you're gonna kill the zombies, that's gonna, gonna give you experience or points and you're gonna be able to spend those on airdrops that you're gonna be able to airdrop everything you want but the bigger the airdrop or the uh, if you have a lot of items in an airdrop it's gonna take longer to arrive if you have less stuff it's gonna come quicker so it's kind of balance of you have to see if you want a lot of things you're gonna have to be able to survive until they get there but if you desperately need for example food you just uh, buy a couple of food and then um, it's gonna come quick so uh, I'm gonna try and balance the gameplay elements over that area I know if we're doing a real game we kinda need to prototype it and get it on the paper I'm just not gonna do that I'm gonna kind of um, head in and start doing it I'm going to balance the game as it goes so uh, if I see things that are unbalanced through the, the v developing process and like play testing uh, I will balance it out uh, I know that I'm aiming for a triple A but I'm not going to do the same procedures because I mean I'm not a company I'm just one man I'm not gonna be wasting time doing stuff uh, I'd rather just head in and develop it it's easier for you guys to follow the tutorial uh, if we don't waste time with stuff that is not really needed for this kind of you know uh, level of detail that I'm gonna put into the game so without further ado I'm going to just start showing you what I got so I just got a main menu level and a small house level and again I'm going to uh, give this whole project and everything in it uh, um, at this state I'm going to give you a download link so you can download it and another thing you're going to need uh, it's just one thing inside your UA4 uh, because I'm gonna be using a plugin the advanced team plugin to do the server browser and stuff um, so I use uh, this going to your uh, current uh, version of the engine going to engine and then plugins and I'm gonna have one uh, there you go advanced sessions um, I'm going to probably uh, give you the link to where I download this it's free and it's you just download it and just put it inside the plugins folder 
uh, you can see this got advanced sessions and just for steam uh, this doesn't matter you just drag in inside the plugins inside your engine and the version just make sure you download uh, the correct version of your engine then you how you activate it you go into settings project settings uh, plugin sorry and you find uh, advanced sessions plugin or you can just search up here and you just enable both of these and it's gonna ask you to restart the editor you do that and that's gonna be able uh, enable you to use some custom notes um, this is a very useful plugin uh, so you can like because the, um, the default uh, session system uh, that come with engine uh, it's like very poor it doesn't enable you to create like a custom server name and like pass settings through the sessions uh, so you can have like passwords and all of that and this plugin really enables you to do that it also got uh, like in-game voice chat and like steam friends and stuff like that so it's very uh, useful I can show you that right now just going inside my game instance uh, as you can see over here you got your um, create advanced session you got extra settings I got the name password and map name um, this is uh, how I created the, um, the session so you can pass in the settings the server name the password the map name that's I got locked into where I uh, connected into where sorry so I'm gonna open the level as a list and so the player that hosts is going to be able to play the game and then you're gonna search for sessions and find them uh, in the server browser and that's done in here so the find servers we clear the container uh, you you can all take a look at this um, I don't know why do I have oh yeah so if you like um, click on the refresh uh, it can sell the f it can sell the find sessions and start everything again so uh, you can take a look at in detail what I got in here it's a little bit messy because I did this in a hurry um, I'll try to clear things up a little bit better while doing these videos this is to join the game it just joins the session and there is just to let know um, that the game has started I don't actually think I need this but I'm gonna leave it be this is the widgets um, that I got for example the I'm gonna show you another oh, host menu you can see you can set up a server name how many, how many players you want the map you're gonna be able to choose this is a um, a thumbnail from the map and you can start or go back into the main menu you can all take a look at this I also got a, a little music that is royalty free and this is the first map that I'm um, uh, I don't know developing so the original uh, idea was supposed to be a small house but I this is where I came up with the idea of opening uh, more like to a street so I didn't really change the name yet I just got a new uh, road brush uh, this is done with BSP from the geometry and then I just created these little line traces that I don't think they're very well aligned but it doesn't really matter and yes I also got uh, navigation because I already have set it up sorry I read have it set up so you can play let me just switch for one and as you can see there's a little bit of a lobby where you see the list of the players and you can start and ready up uh, because there's only one I already got like zombie spawning and adding for the middle of the map uh, this is a first person with the default character this is just one model I got a lot I'm gonna give all of that to you guys the models the animations um, because I want you guys to follow up the tutorials you know exactly how I'm doing it and now I'm gonna show you uh, what I exactly got so from the main menu I'm going to start I don't know with three players and I'm going to play yeah apologize about the music if it's very loud I don't know Let me just turn that down because I think it gets very loud. So I'm just going to I don't know, cut the sound on the editor. Doesn't really matter. So uh, the server I'm gonna host the game. Just going to call it I don't know uh, test server. I'm going to say well I want. Yeah, you can leave it for four. I'm gonna put a password one two three four, and uh, the only map that I got is this one, so I'm gonna start. 
and there you go it's gonna give you to the lobby that I shown but now if I uh, go over here and go into the server browser it supposedly will find the server I don't think I have steam open so I don't know if this is going to work but I'm going to join the server it's gonna ask me to insert the password I'm gonna do it and click join and there you go you can see now uh, as the host we cannot start the game because one of the players is not ready uh, the in-game uh, player name is not yet implemented we're gonna do that in a future video but now we can ready up and it will enable the host to do it but now I'm gonna go to the third client and join there you go join I'm gonna set the password and join it now you can see uh, we cannot start and you can see the pings uh, the pings are the same because this is a uh, simulation inside the, the proper machine but now we can ready up and start and now when we start we're gonna have the three characters and all the zombies are going to spawn and the amount of zombies that spawn um, are directly um, linked to the number of players playing so that's why there are more zombies than in the first playtest that I showed you and the zombies now don't have any kind of behavior they just move to the middle of the map but it's just to show you that stuff is working uh, we're gonna take care of the, the weapons and animations in future tutorials this tutorial is just really to show you uh, my day for the game and what I already got done and I'm going to give you I already set you time I think but I'm gonna give you a link to all of this and I'm probably gonna do a separate link for all the game files that I'm gonna be using but I might just uh, link you the game files as I use them because I'm not sure what I'm gonna use yet so I think that's better and yeah I think for this video I'm not sure if I want to do anything on this one just a little intro to show you uh, yeah so just another thing uh, if any of you guys know how to like I don't know like do 3D modeling because I'm not really good at uh, 3D modeling and design and art in general so if any of you guys know about that and you would like I don't know to share some of your work with me so I can use it in my game I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it later on it depends if it's good but we can talk about, uh, about that later on but if you guys know and know how to do 3D models and stuff like that I'm very good at programming I will program everything myself but like I will be happy to receive sounds and 3D models uh, animations everything you want to give and yeah I think uh, it's everything for now thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna be try to post uh, everything that I do on this game so you guys can follow up and I'm gonna from time to time release the project file so if any of you guys like don't know how to do anything or there you start getting errors um, so you can like catch up uh, really quick so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.